Good morning. Thank you all for coming out. And I'm Sheriff Rochelle Bilal with the City of Philadelphia and County. In collaboration effort, District Attorney Larry Krasner and I are here to announce the arrest of one of Philadelphia's most wanted fugitives. On Tuesday, May the 2nd, 2023, at 7.40 a.m., members of the Philadelphia Sheriff's Fugitive Warrant Unit, along with U.S. Marshals and the Philadelphia Police Homicide Unit, took Gregory Burnett into custody. Gregory Burnett is accused of shooting and killing a 31-year-old man on the 5,000 block of Marion Avenue on August the 16th, 2020. Our warrant unit, led by Captain Nobles, worked in concert with members of law enforcement in the city and county and made, and made the arrest of this fugitive on May the 2nd. The accused was taken into custody without incident and a warrant was executed in Darby, Pennsylvania. In November 2020, the District Attorney's Office approved charges of murder and other offenses against Burnett. The accused has had two prior Philadelphia violation probation warrants for firearms, though the exposure of the DA's weekly Philadelphia Most Wanted Fugitives press conference our warrant unit now have an additional effective tool to apprehend offenders before they have a chance to strike again. Let me just say this. Because of the weekly exposure of those most wanted in this city and county of Philadelphia, people who don't want this smoke coming to their house are beginning to call and let us know where they are. So I repeat again, when you see this person, you know where they are, they have to sleep somewhere. You need to let us know so that we can get them off the streets. And I'll repeat, you don't want this smoke, let us know. And I'll turn it over to my Captain Nobles, who's the captain of our warrant unit. Good morning. This was a good example of agencies working together towards a common goal and utilizing the Philadelphia Sheriff's Office access to resources and ability to execute any county warrant in Pennsylvania. We can go all over Pennsylvania. None of this was possible without the public. So I want to thank the public um, for helping taking one of Philadelphia's most wanted fugitive off the streets. ADA Joanne Pesator. Thank you, Sheriff Palau. Thank you, DA Krasner. Good morning. Um, this was an idea that the DA's office had to start to highlight these fugitives who were wanted, and I thank the DA for allowing us to do this. I also want to thank the Philadelphia Police Department, uh, Sergeant Mark Jones and Lieutenant uh, Hamilton Marshman for their help and assistance in giving me the fugitives who are, in fact, wanted. This particular fugitive was wanted uh, for almost three years now. Um, as Sheriff Blau said, he was um, wanted on probation violations as well. Uh, this job uh, happened in uh, southwest Philadelphia. Uh, a male was shot down uh, basically at a party. I approved this job. Uh, this particular defendant has been on the run since. Uh, there was a co-defendant in this case uh, who had died prior to the warrant being issued for him. So I want to thank the Sheriff's Office, the Marshals, and the Philadelphia Police Department for all their help in getting uh, this male taken into custody. ADA Krasner. Uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge and to thank Philadelphia Sheriff Bilal, who has been and remains an excellent partner and collaborator in doing law enforcement the right way. I repeat, the right way. I want to give personal thanks as well to Captain Nobles, to ADA Joanne Pescator, who's been a little shy when she says it was a DAO idea to put up these photographs of these fugitives. It was her idea. It's a good idea, so we stole it, but it was her idea. Uh, 
And I also want to thank all law enforcement who assisted with bringing Gregory Burnett into custody in connection with this terrible 2020 shooting in West Philadelphia. Melanie Nelson is here as well from our CARES unit, which, as you know, provides uh, intensive services to the families of homicide victims. And uh, our CARES unit, our Victim Witness Services Division, uh, are and will be in touch with the family of the victim, with the survivors and co-survivors in this particular case. A little bit of context may be helpful. There have been two press conferences where we lifted up the police arrest photos and other information about people who are fugitive for homicides committed in Philadelphia. At each of those conferences, we lifted up about 10 of those fugitives. Well, three of them are now in custody, and it's only been a few weeks. That is not bad. We are making some serious progress. What has happened since we have been able to use this platform to lift up this information is phones lit up, phones at PPD, phones at the DA's office, lit up with people who, much like the general public, want to be safe, and they want to make sure that there is justice for victims and survivors of gun violence. So I want to give my personal thanks to those of you in the public, those Philadelphians, those people who had the courage to pick up the phone and call. Please do that. We will protect you every way it is possible to protect you. The Sheriff's Office will protect you every way it is possible to protect you. You have been protected so far, and we have brought these three people so that they can face justice in a way that will be careful and will be fair. We anticipate holding another Philadelphia's most wanted press event in the Northwest Police Division in the coming, coming weeks. Um, and I just want to say in general that we are so proud that the Sheriff's Office was able to resolve this, that we were able to work effectively at another stage with PPD on this, and that we have been able to bring some kind of early resolution with reference to someone who's effectively been on the run for a decade. We're talking 10 years of Mr. Burnett being on the run. It is uh, a point that will not be forgotten during his trial. It is a point that will not be forgotten at his sentencing. Some of the other people who are out there who, who are fugitives at this time, I have a message for you. Turn yourself in. It will be safer for you. It will be safer for law enforcement, and it will not be forgotten. It will help you in the same way Gregory Burnett's running for 10 years and being pulled out of a place he was hiding will not help him. So if any of you care about someone who is a fugitive or any of you are fugitive, turn yourself in. You will, you will receive fair and just treatment and your willingness to turn yourself in will be noted and will play a part in how that case is resolved. That's all I have, but I, I do want to say once again, I am so grateful to the Sheriff's Office for being an excellent partner, for moving so quickly, for being so diligent. At a time when that was necessary, we all get overwhelmed, but the Sheriff's Office stepped up in a tremendous way, and we're very grateful for that.